Hello everyone, this is Yogesh and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to talk about access specifiers. So I guess I have already prepared a video related to the access specifiers. But today we will go through the difference between uh, public, protected, private and default access specifiers, right? So like I didn't explain you related to default as well as the protected. I only explained you related to public and protect, uh, private, correct? So like I was, I didn't explain related to protected because I wanted to first explain inheritance, right? Because inheritance is also required to understand the concept of protected because in this table also you can see the third table third column says inheritance right so we have to see that in when we are doing any inheritance the how the what is the behavior of this particular access specifiers correct so like if you have not seen that video please go and have a look otherwise like i will give you a brief introduction of access specifiers so we can say that so but before saying anything if you're new to the channel then please subscribe this channel as well as press the bell icon so that you will be notified first when you load our new videos right so before wasting any time let's start our video correct so uh, we can see that access specifier we can see it is a scope of like scope of a variable or a particular methods or a function you can say right like uh, where where you can use a particular variable in which which classes you can use a particular method the what is the scope of the variable and function so that is the only access specifier like like you can say restrictions given to the particular variables and functions so let's see but before going through the code like i will be explaining you through an example like uh, how this thing are getting distinguished with each other so let me first explain this table so basically i have divided this table into four columns that is uh, the first column is if you are using the variables and function within a same class you have written a class and inside that only you are using or within a same package that is within a same folder you are using or if you are doing any inheritance between two classes there you are using or from other packages you are using okay there we have divided this in four categories correct so now let's see the for the first part that is when we are using a same class correct so either it is public protected default or private we can use it correct if a variable or a function is made in any of the access specifiers and we're using it within a class we can easily use this so let's see each and everything through the code as well so like this code i have written on the previous uh, video right uh, that is when i was explaining related to the this one inheritance correct so this was the code related to inheritance so let me update here only right so if you have not seen the inheritance video so please go and have a look so basically what i have done is that i can uh, tell you once again i have made one class whose name is college which is there in a package com dot college i have prepared one class name as student which is there inside the com.code library package and this student is inheriting this student is inheriting this college class correct so this was this thing only i have done right so now let's see for the case of same class so let's consider the student only right so this student is having a variable as student name and having two functions whose name is set student name and display correct so like when we are not giving any access like you can give like this you can give public you can give protected you can give private like this okay so you can give like this so when you are not giving anything so that means it is a default if you are not uh, mentioning like whether it is public private or protected it is by default okay so i have written here right default so th that is default so you can see that when this variable is default default we can easily use this inside this function we can use this inside this function easily we can use if i am making is public no issues simply i am using here i am using here no issues i am making it protected i am protected making protected no issues we can use easily if i am making it private simply i can use here no issues correct so it means that you have gone through the example that is all the four categories is possible that is within a class correct so yeah this was related to within a class let's see within a package so within a package public private uh, public protected and default are possible but private we cannot use so let's see let's see that thing as well so uh, let make it as public so within a package we can say that we have a class as student within the package of code library and we have a class main within a package code library so let's try to see whether we can use this data inside this main or not after creating an object of student correct so uh, let me remove this like I written on the previous day so i have prepared i have uh, prepared one object of the student correct so when it is default right so let me check if i can use or not so simply what i am doing is that i am trying to do student dot student name so i can simply use i can simply use as i can write as yogesh no issues 
I was able to use and so let's try to use the function so let's try to use the function let's uh, set student name it was right set student name let's write is at code library so I guess I'm easily able to use no issues correct so this was possible that is when we used public let's try to keep it as protected so you can see no error we can easily use no issues right let's try with default let's try it with default no issues no error everything is possible right and now for private we are saying we cannot use so let's keep it private let's use private and now you can see that we are getting an error that is we cannot use this so uh, i didn't update this function that is this is default so make this as private as well so now you can see that we cannot use both we cannot update we cannot use this function as well so we cannot use the variable as well as you cannot use the function as well because it is private it is clearly it is written uh, this has a private access specifier in com.code library correct so for that we will not able to use so i guess this, this second uh, column is also clear that is within a package we can use public protected and default variables and functions like i am showing you related to variables similar thing is for function as well right private we cannot use now let's try to use an inheritance correct so let Let's see let's see for inheritance so inheritance i have already showed is that in inheritance public and protected is possible if we declare a variable as public or protected or a function as public and protected it is possible to use within a base uh, subclasses right uh, but default and private we cannot use let's see so we have a parent class as this college and we have a child class as a student let's try to update this information's uh, access specifier and let's see whether we are able to use it inside the student or not okay so uh, we have kept this as public so let's try to use this variable only right because same thing is for function as well okay so this variable is public and inside this i guess i am using here college name so yeah this variable was college name and this i am easily able to use here no issues simply i can use no errors right let's try to declare this as pri uh, protected i have declared it as protected no issues simply i can use no error correct now let's try to keep it default you can see it's saying one related problem let's see let's see so you can see that it's showing a red color that is is not public in the uh, cannot be accessed from the outside package so we cannot use this right so as we're having an inheritance so when i declare that as default we cannot use it here in the child class let's try to keep it as private private also we got the same red issue that is error we cannot use it correct so same thing is for the functions as well right so i'm showing you for the variables but same thing is for functions as well right like uh, we are calling a display college name right so display college name is public when i removed it so we got the error you can see we cannot use it we got the error right so yeah i showed you with the function as well so i guess inheritance while a part is also clear like uh, we can use public and protected but we cannot use default and private if we want to use a parent class information in a child class right so this is fixed now let's see for the other packages that is we don't have any inheritance though uh, currently also we were doing from two different packages but both were in an inheritance right we were using uh, we were inheriting a super class in a subclass correct but when we are not doing any inheritance two classes are independent in two other other packages and we are trying to create an object and using the data so in that case we can only get public only we cannot use protected default and private let's try to see that so uh, we have a function uh, class as college which is there inside a com.college package and we have this main right which is there inside this code library package so let's try to uh, currently uh, currently these two guys are public everything is public okay no issues so what i told for public i can easily use so let's try to create a package uh, sorry we create an object of college so college college equals to new college right so we have created a object let's use college dot so we can see that we can use college name accessible uh, display college name is also there set college name is also there so let's try to do college name is equals to let's write aot right simply i can use college dot i can use display college name as well let's try to run this no error so 
it will we will get the output so you can see that we are getting the output as college name is aot right so we were having public right so this college is inside college uh, package and this main is inside the code library package so two different packages two different classes simply we are creating an object and we are easily able to access the variable as well as the functions correct we are able to easily able to access functions and variables right now let's try to make both of them as protected protected and we are using this protected so see we are not able to use we are getting an error it's saying it has a protected access so we cannot use it let's try to keep it as private uh, no 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 let's private and this as well private so let's see again getting the error we cannot use it it's saying again uh, doesn't have any access right if we keep it default remove this and remove this okay again getting the same issue right we are getting the error that is we cannot access this guys only in the case of public we can use so if i am making it public we can making it public we can simply use no issues no error right so yeah i guess you have able to understand related to the same class same package inheritance and other packages how we can use public private protected and default access specifiers i have showed you related to variables and functions right so this example is also clear right so uh, like i have showed you like if you have not understood again if you're getting confused please uh, go through the video again you will be able to understand and uh, once try by yourself as well then also you will be able to understand in much better way correct so yeah this was everything related to today's video i have you have understood a lot of things right everything is uh, clear with you all right so if you have understood everything then do hit the like button and uh, yeah let's meet in another video bye bye